So in case you don't already know this, I'm Steve. And I'm Alex. And we are building the 38-foot wooden sailboat that you see behind us. So our project is called Acorn to Arabella. Uh, we've got a YouTube channel all about it. But right now we want to talk to you a little bit about a project we've got coming up with a group called Sail Cargo down in Costa Rica. When Alex and I first said that we were going to go fire up the chainsaw and go out in the woods, cut down a bunch of trees, mill them into boards, and build this big boat that you see behind us, most people thought we were insane, and probably rightfully so. But I can say one thing with absolute certainty, and that's we would not be where we are now if we hadn't received the help that we've gotten along the way. And some of that help came really early on before the project even really had much to show for it. And it was really just Alex and I and our, you know, lots of gumption and our word that we were going to go do this thing. And people believed in us, and that made a huge difference. And as we've gotten along in this crazy project, um, we've gotten to meet other people who have done similar things. And are working kind of on the fringes and doing things that people told them that probably told them that it was going to be impossible when they started. And these are all people who are around our age, we're all under 40, and we gather every year at the Wooden Boat Show down at Mystic Seaport in Connecticut. And it's a grand time, we get to meet up, we don't see each other very often, and we talk about our projects and the crazy things that are happening in our lives and trading resources and all of that kind of stuff. And this last year when we were down there, we hatched a little bit of a plan to go down to Costa Rica and help out this group called Sail Cargo. So Alex and I have created a, a fairly big platform for ourselves. We've reached a lot of people with this YouTube channel, and we really want to use that power for good. And we really want to help shine the spotlight on some other projects that we think are worthy of supporting and helping them grow and giving them a little bit of a boost. And Sail Cargo is one of them. So Alex and I and Med from Ships Koi Forge and Jack, who's a blacksmith and a shipwright, and Kit, who's a shipwright, and Anne, who's the associate editor from Wooden Bow, and Andrew, who's restoring Rosalind, who we gave the diesel to. We all want to head down to Costa Rica in February and help sail cargo out. Um, but to do that, we're going to need a little bit of help from you all. So what is sail cargo? Sail cargo is a multifaceted project that was set up by our friends Danielle Doggett and Link Guimond down in Costa Rica. And we're really impressed by what they're doing. They have set up a shipyard down there and they're building a 148 foot or 45 meter ship that is going to act as a sail cargo ship up and down the west coast. Uh, it can carry 250 tons of cargo, so it's a massive ship. We're super impressed by that. Um, basically, they are building this whole thing out of sustainably sourced timbers down there, mostly wind-fallen or naturally fallen timbers, working with the government to get those. Uh, and the other part of the project is they're setting up a um, boatyard down there called Astillero Verde, which is going to act as a working shipyard, and they're also doing educational courses. Um, so they're kind of uh, getting the community to come in and doing like boat building classes and all kinds of other uh, classes, which is part of what we are going to be doing down there. So we'd really, really like to help them succeed in this project. We think it's a really great endeavor, um, not only just because it's a cool project for how they're building the boat, but also just in terms of long-term, just environmental and all the things that we believe in. So um, let's see if we can help these guys out. So what's this class Alex was talking about? Uh, when we were at Mystic and we were talking about getting the whole crew together and shipping out to sail cargo this winter and escaping our dreary winter here in New England for a little bit, uh, we asked sail cargo what would be the most useful thing that our crew could do in a two or three weeks time there. And they said with the blacksmithing and teaching experience we have amongst us that helping out with their courses and their educational side of things would be the biggest benefit to them. So like Alex said, Sail Cargo is doing a bunch of boat building courses and tool usage and all that kind of thing. And one of the issues that they're running into is the locals down there don't have tools and they don't have access to tools. So we're going to go down and hopefully set up some forges and do a entry level blacksmithing course and we're trying to get enough equipment and materials put together that we can go down and set up a few forges for sail cargo to use on Seba, but also for them to use in the educational and to do classes around blacksmithing and help the locals develop their own tools so that then the locals can start building their own boats, uh, which is the ultimate hope. So we're gonna be heading down in February and what we really need are as many tools as we can possibly get that are based hopefully around woodworking for boats. Um, so any sort of planes, hammers, chisels, especially blacksmithing and metalworking tools, um, hammers, tongs, anvils, portable forges, any of that kind of stuff. Um, so look in your tool drawer, look in your cupboards, look in the barn out back, whatever you got. 
Um, and if we can get it here to us in Western Massachusetts by November 20th, we can get it loaded into a shipping container and shipped down to Costa Rica. So whatever we can rally for tools and equipment for them to use for the educational purposes down there and to pass on to the locals, uh, Sail Cargo is willing to foot the shipping bill to get it down there. And Alex and I got a business credit card last year for the business, and we've been kind of racking up the points. So we are using the points from the credit card to fly the entire crew down there. Um, so all we really need to do is to round up as much blacksmithing and forging and metalworking and woodworking tools as we possibly can get our hands on and get those shipped down there. And once we get those down there, we can roll down in February, set up the classroom, get the forges fired up, and we can work with the locals and teach them how to make some tools and get sail cargo set up so they can run this course again and again and again, which is the ultimate hope. So before we wrap this up, we probably should talk about logistics. We're gonna be sending everything down in a cargo container so we can take some big stuff and little stuff. And while we're talking about the big stuff, they are super envious about our uh, Bridgeport and metal lathe that just got donated to us. So if any of y'all in just about the New England area have anything like that and you're willing to donate it, please get a hold of us because we will likely come and pick it up from you uh, if, that's if that's necessary. Um, other than that, any kinds of tools, so, you know, like Steve said, so woodworking tools, some metalworking tools, but even like personal protection, so eyes, ears, any of that kind of stuff, please send it our way. We want to be able to inundate them with all kinds of stuff. Um, like we said, we really want to put our fan base to use here and uh, see if we can help some other project. We really want to see if we can make this succeed. So let's see if we can get a whole boatload of tools down to those guys. So a little bit more on information. We're going to have a page on our website that is going to have everything on there. We're going to have some information about sail cargo, about Saba, all the tools that you need. And finally, um, when you need to get these tools to us and where to ship them. So the latest that these need to be to us is by the end of November. So that would be more like November 20th is kind of the cutoff date. Otherwise, we won't be able to send them down. So other than that, please go to our website. The website is www.acorntoarabella.com. Uh, and we are so excited to do this. Thank you so much for all the support. And let's see what we can send these guys.